Okay, today we are playing a game on King's Row, we are playing D.Va the entire way through, and we are in the gold SR range somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. We look pretty in the middle based on the fact every emblem is gold. So let's look at our team. We've got D.Va, Junkrat, Reinhardt, Mercy, Lucio, and Reaper. So it's it's not exactly well balanced. If the enemy team has very little in the way of survival instincts, we might be okay. You know, if they're prepared to just sort of walk into Junkrat bombs and then let us or Reaper pick them off, that'd be great. Um, but this is a this is a team comp I would expect to have a lot of trouble getting through the doorway into King's Row, and uh, that's that's kind of what happens, as we'll see. Uh, it would be a lot better if we could get an actual, like, consistent ranged DPS, because Junkrat is a ranged DPS, but he's not exactly consistent in the same way that Reaper, or, uh, Reaper, McCree or Soldier is, so, well, Reaper is more consistent than Junkrat also. So, Reinhardt stepped out here onto some Junkrat cheese, but we broke the mine before it detonated, not that it would kill Reinhardt regardless. So we get a look in here, and they kind of just let us start walking in a little bit. Reinhardt's going in way too deep. This man over here has decided that he no longer wants to be alive. So he went in, he took a big chunk of damage, he got pinned back out, he's dead. We also look up in the corner, and we see the Junkrat is also dead. So we should not be fighting here anymore. We should just turn away and boost out. Like, we boost out now, we should have just gotten out immediately. As soon as you lose two people like that... It's pretty over. So Roadhog is just kind of out here, and uh, he breaks our mech because he's just out here for some reason. It's just where he is. So now we've just got to work on building our mech back up. We're almost there because we got to drill into Roadhog for a while. Now we've got our mech built up again. Awesome. Okay, so we are trying to just sort of walk in the gate. We're not really allowed to do that, and if Junkrat, uh, Roadhog is paying more attention, he just kills you for that, because you just walk straight through the doorway, right into their team, and get Discord Orb thrown on you, and immediately lose half your HP. A little under, but you know. Uh, you're not allowed to just walk through the gate like that. If you're trying to get in the doorway onto King's Row, best place to do it through is go through the theater, go upstairs, and then go through the window, try and get behind them, and then just sort of start fucking with them, which Diva's pretty good at, because uh, we're not really allowed to just walk through the door. Bare minimum, just like booster over the wall or something instead of just walking through the gate, because that's real scary. So as we were coming in the gateway, we have lost uh, Reaper. So this is a bad sign, because now our only DPS is Junkrat, which is uh, rather sad. So they don't seem to really notice us for a while now they've turned their attention on us. If we play it a little cooler and just kind of like look out, because they don't know we're here, if we play it a little bit cooler, it's possible one of these people sort of backs up into us, or if they didn't know we were here because we've been shooting into them doing basically no damage, because we're kind of outside of our range. If we just sort of scout it out a little bit more, we could just dive on this Zenyatta while nobody's looking at us, and then just sort of kill him very quickly, because we're full HP. If we wait, like, because now their attention has just turned on to us, because we've been shooting at them from the side, if we just kind of, like, poke out and wait, see what's going on out here, instead of just, like, blindly firing in immediately... We could actually just dive right on this uh, Zenyatta and probably kill him before his team even really knows what's going on. Seeing as we are at full HP and we could just thrust up to him or walk up to him as well. Uh, if the if YouTube could be so kind as to work. All right. So now they've turned their attention onto us, though, and we have to back out. We have boosted right onto a trap, which is downright unfortunate. Um, we just came around the corner really quickly, so it's kind of, you're not really going to see it coming. So our whole team's dead right now, as we can see up here. All dead. Nothing more we can do right now. We just got to, like, back out and wait, basically. Like, don't even do this, because all you're doing right now is taking more damage and feeding them ult charge. Like, just wait. Just wait for your team to get back. So, main thing that's giving our team pro trouble right now is that we're having trouble getting through the doorway. Uh, mostly because our team is really bad at doing that, and we're just sort of getting killed as we walk in the doorway by Soldier and Junkrat. So, we want to be trying to 
get them. We want to try and find them reasonably by themselves and just sort of kill them, or at least pressure them enough that we can take some relief off the gate, basically. Like, we're just trying to, we're just sort of sitting around in the choke point, and then just kind of like, all right, I'm going in right now. And then that's not really working out, but we also can't just sit here and play this choke point game all day, because our team is really bad at playing that game. So, we should just try and, like, find another way around the back side. We can just, like, go through the theater and then come up the alleyway over here, get behind them, start messing with them from back there. Divide their attention. Probably Soldier starts looking up here, trying to kill us. He's not going to kill us because we're playing um, D.Va. Maybe Junkrat comes over to try and get us. Then we just sort of, like, divide their attention and then... As soon as we see an opportunity, we can go in on that person that's, like, off by themselves. Maybe, like, somebody comes into the building to try and kill us. Then we just go downstairs, kill them. Or we just take their attention off the choke point, and then our team sees an opportunity to come through the gate. Because right now, we're just sort of standing around in the choke point, not really doing very much. Um, because our team is really bad at getting in through the gate. So, here's the cap, by the way. Um, if you could move out of the way, that'd just, that'd just be absolutely peachy. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Great, awesome, thanks, fantastic. No, 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 I don't care. Uh, so, as we see over here, Lucio is attempting to kill himself. And he gets hooked up on this tree for quite a while. It's gonna be really, really sad to watch. Watch, watch what happens with this Lucio. Oh, no, oh, just, it's just, oh, God, oh, God, fucking leaves and shit, man. God damn. Oh, he just couldn't figure that one out. I don't know if he was trying to get out or if he was trying to, like, wall climb up the tree to get over the wall, but boy, did it look sad. So, anyway, what we should do in this situation is basically just boost over here, try and bump him, like, into this area where he's... It's harder for him to get out, and then we just start killing him just start shooting him right in the face and our team should help us with that as well hopefully but our team is like reaper and junk rat so you know um instead we just kind of like sit back max range not doing any well not even max range we're outside of our range right now just go in on that lucio like you're a short range hero just like boost up to him push him into the corner and start bullying him and you start body blocking him as well he can't wall right up mech Instead, we just sat back, like, poking at him and calling out to our team, get the Lucio, get the Lucio, go over there and get the Lucio. Like, now we've come up here to try and head him off of the pass, but, like, it's already too late now. We've missed our opportunity. You gotta just jump on that man as soon as he comes out of the gate. And then he gets caught up in the tree, and it's super awkward. We just kind of, like, watch him get caught up over there rather than, like, pouncing on him. So, most of our team died right there. We've got to wait for our team to regroup again. We almost have self-destruct built up. We just walked on a trap because we didn't see it, which is really bad. Now we're going to lose our mech. Do we also die? No, because that happened. So, this is one of the uh, worst Earth Shatters in recorded history right there. He hit um exactly nothing. He might have hit that Zenyatta and, like, pressured him into ulting, but I don't think he hit anything. Lots of ultimates happening over there. Most of our team dead immediately. We're out of mech. We can't actually really do anything to help right now. It's a shame we lost our mech right there, because if we could throw our mech in while that's happening, maybe we could have done something with that. But we stepped on the trap that we didn't see, and then Junkrat just hooked us and broke our mech. So that's very unfortunate timing. Um, watch out for traps, basically, because we ended up losing our mech at a pretty inconvenient time. So we've just lost our Junkrat, but they've also lost their Soldier. Soldier is one of the things that's been giving us trouble. They also just used a lot of ultimates. So now, even though we're down a member, they're also down a member, and they're down a bunch of ultimates. So we want to go in right now. We just throw our ultimate in the backside. I'm usually not a big fan of just throwing your mech in like this. Like, this is basically a naked diva ultimate. But we're also calling out to our team that we want to go in right now. And now is the time to go in because they're down a man and they are um, missing a bunch of ultimates right now. So even though this is a naked diva ult, which I'm not usually a fan of, now is the time we want to go in. So we want to just throw it in there to try and pressure them as we're going in. Uh, we managed to get two kills with it as well, which is just 
You know, that's just a happy bonus, honestly. And we've killed all of them. Reinhardt pinned there. Reinhardt, we managed to pick him off. Re soldiers getting back just as we're capturing the point. So great. Awesome. We saw an opportunity to get in the gate, and we got in the gate when it happened. Awesome. Um, and we got a lot more value out of self-destruct than you usually expect to get out of self-destruct. So all is well. We are leaving the payload behind right now. Um, your tank, you've got to go stand on the payload. There's only one person standing on the payload. You want to have three people on the payload at all times. Uh, we're not really doing anything up here. We should just be back on the payload. Uh, Roadhog has just killed both of our DPS, which is very unfortunate. Then that happened, which is also very unfortunate. Um, we're sort of groaning over here rather than actually coming out and helping with the, uh, trying to get healed up and get back into the fight. And now they're fighting over there. Reapers managed to kill three people. We've got 54 hit points right now, so we really can't just, like, keep going in. Lucio, in fact, just pops out and breaks our mech. Oh, no, it was actually Zenyatta that broke our mech. Okay. Lucio was going to break our mech if Zen didn't, though. So now we're trying to get this Lucio off the payload. We're currently Baby Diva, so that's really hard. But he's off now. Most of them are dead right now still, so we get to get a good push going through the street phase, which is not usually too hard to push through anyway. But we're going to get to get it around the corner at least right now. Uh, which is which is the hard part generally for the street phase on King's Row. Not exactly a hard point to capture usually because of how far away the enemy um, spawn is. So we were running away from Zenyatta there. Honestly, we could have probably killed the Zenyatta. Because <laughs> like, Zenyatta is really easy to kill. Uh, well, he's easy to hit. We're really hard to hit as Baby Diva. And he has a very small projectile. Honestly, we could have probably killed that Zenyatta. I don't think we needed to run away from him. I would expect us to have a better chance of killing him than him of killing us, as long as we, like, don't just sort of, like, stand perfectly still. As long as we're, like, dancing back and forth and making it hard for him to hit us, we're actually really hard to hit. So I think we could have probably killed him right there, seeing as he was by himself. Uh, so instead, though, we run away. And we run right into that. That's kind of scary. And then we start going after the Roadhog a little bit, which we don't want to do. Probably getting greedy for the last hit on that ult charge, but we started walking into the Roadhog a little bit, which is very scary. Uh, we've got our ult right now, so we're getting back into the mech. Uh, Roadhog's hooked somebody with Defense Matrix to stop it. They have a Fara, which is very inconvenient. I would not float back over this way because this fight is already a wash because we look up in the kill feed and we see that a lot of our team are currently dead right now. Uh, this fight's not going well. Like, Reaper's off killing people, but, like, look at this setup right here. This is not a fight that looks like it's going to go super well. I wouldn't float back over this way. I'd float over that alleyway and just try to get out instead because, like, come on, this ain't going to work out. Now we should just be getting out because we don't want to get picked off. We're back over here now, out of the way. We've almost... I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Okay. So we've almost got self-destruct built up, which is nice, but self-destruct is a pretty bad ultimate generally, so, you know, we're not overly concerned about it that much. Um, so, but we do almost have it, that's cool. There is a Farah up in the air, so Diva's pretty good against Farah, so we've got to try and focus her when given the chance. Farah is probably going around the right-hand side right now. That is indeed what is happening, as we can see right there. Based on the way that Farah goes over that rooftop you should expect this flank to happen because she goes, she is going off the back end. She keeps trying to, she's doing this kind of flanking thing. Right now I'm like, I don't see her over here. And she was trending that direction anyway, but now she's like not over here. Turn around that way. You're playing D.Va, you're the best hero on your team at dealing with Farah, so you've got to be like paying attention to where she is and ready to head this kind of thing off at the pass. So we do manage to turn around and block it anyway. Just fly after that Farah and, like, kill her immediately. Like, we hesitate to do it. Just, like, get up in the Farah's face. The D.Va is pretty good against Farah. And, like, there's the obvious fact that Defense Matrix is really good against, like, Farah just generally completely blocks out her ultimate, makes it difficult for her to deal damage. If the Farah is just kind of, like out in open space like that, just float up into her face and start shooting her, like, point blank. 
you will do a surprising amount of damage to the far. You just get, like, up in her face, bump her, punch her, start shooting her, and you've mostly killed her already, honestly. Like, don't hesitate. Just go after that far. So, we do have self-destruct built up right now. Far is hanging out over there, low HP. Honestly, just go in and finish that far off as soon as your booster comes off cooldown. Because our on, on cooldown, on cooldown, off cooldown. She's round there. She's got like 20 HP. Yeah, we might lose our mech doing so. We've got self-destruct. Just go in, kill that Farah, because we've also just killed their Roadhog, we can see up here. Just go around this corner, finish her off. If they do break your mech, just use self-destruct. It's perfectly fine to trade that so that we can kill the Farah. We maybe kill the Soldier or this Lucio if we're lucky as well with the Blast. But, like, just go finish her off. Doesn't matter if they break your mech. You've got your ult right now. And But instead, we just kind of, like, come back around here rather than pouncing on the Farah immediately. We throw the ult up right there. This one I'm not so fond of because we're already really winning this fight. We shouldn't need to just throw it in like that. And, like, I was advocating for going around here and finishing off the Farah because we have our ultimate so that we can get another mech if we need it. But realistically, I kind of expect to just go around the corner, finish the Farah off, start defense matrixing at the soldier. And then there's only two people over here anyway. You shouldn't really need to use your ultimate at that point. So I'm not really a fan of just chucking it in right there. Probably didn't need to. And I prefer if we just go on the Farah immediately since we had the opportunity to get, like, a free kill on her. Um, so, we're pushing in now, we've gotten past the street phase, we're coming off up with Reinhardt, like, we're going up pretty far right now, um, but we do have to go through the closing of the ramp right there, so we did just see a rocket right there, that's your job, Far is behind us right now, that's your job to go deal with the Farah, because you're the best person on your team that can kill a Farah, and she's shooting at us from behind us right now, you're the one that has to go deal with that, like, yeah, I know you want to be over here, like, on the front line, like, all that, being a tank, but, like, Far just shot a rocket from behind us. Uh, somebody has to go deal with it, and you're the best one to deal with it. So, Far has gotten back over here right now. She didn't really do that much, but she probably occupied our back line a lot during the, during that, which we didn't really look at. Um, so, Reaper's over there, he's killed somebody, we're down two, they are also down two right now. Far up, floating off this direction right now. We just saw her slip through the corner, through the um, window up there. I tried. I was about to call it a window and a door, but it's kind of neither of those things. Um, that's still your job. We saw her going that way. We shouldn't have been taken by surprise by this. And I can tell by the noise you made that you were taken by surprise by this. This should not have taken you by surprise. You've got to try and head this thing off the pass because Farah is like, you are the best person on your team to deal with this. So now she's just sort of floating out above us. Junkrat actually managed to hit her, which is great. Right there, you could have bumped that Roadhog off, honestly, because he hooked you right next to the pit. If, like, getting hooked, kind of scary, I know. He's right next to the pit. Shift immediately, push him right off the edge. That's a free kill right there that we passed up on. And now we've actually pushed him over to safety instead. Reinhardt had Earth Shadow, so he's gotten knocked down now, but we still didn't kill him. We could have pushed him off the edge right there. We didn't. Now he's still alive when he could be dead, which is, you know, generally what we would prefer. So, Soldier's doing this right now with Tac Visor. We don't have enough Defense Matrix to actually block it. Two people on our team dead right now. Mercy just res the Lucio. Not exactly a great use of company resources. Reaper just died. This isn't going to work. We just back out. Um, Reinhardt's going off really over eagerly right now. We are currently missing both of our DPS, so we don't really want to be doing this. We're just kind of like taking damage and not achieving anything right here. Which is generally what we're trying to avoid have happening. So our Lucio just got picked off right as everybody's starting to regroup, which is always fantastic news when somebody gets picked off like that. So Diva just swung right through us right there and finished off our Reinhardt, seeing as he was low HP. Oop, just saw a tire right there. That's kind of scary, but it was our own tire, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, so Lucio, right, let's look at the kill feed, right, because I do like to focus on people's shame. Lucio just killed Junkrat, and then somehow died to Junkrat's passive. Did he just forget? Like, what was he doing? How did, how did this happen? 
We'll give him the benefit of the doubt and assume he was getting pushed into it by someone or something, but that's really sad. Um, so, a lot of people currently dead right now. We're out of mech. We don't have our Reinhardt. We can't really do anything. We see now that they have a Bastion, which is concerning information because our team isn't really great at dealing with a Bastion. We have Junkrat, who is theoretically good against Bastion, um, but that implies that the Junkrat really knows how to play Junkrat, which is almost never the case. Um, and then that has the stacking effect with Junkrat not be really being a very good hero either. So, uh, Reaper has actually managed to pick off the Bastion, which is great. Again, we're throwing in the ultimate just by ourselves. I don't really like this because our team doesn't go in with it. We don't really give them any warning that we're going to do this. There's nothing for us to really go in with because nobody has ultimates right now. So there's no one to combo it with. And King's Row in general has a lot of ways for people to get out of the way of things like Diva's Alt and um, Dead Eye, both of these things, really easy to just duck out of the way of cover of. Um, and you know, you just chuck the ultimate in like that; it doesn't really get very much done. I was okay with the first one because it was when we wanted to go in, and our team actually went in with us. So that was like one of the few times I'm ever really happy with it. Usually, Diva's Alt just chucking it in like that doesn't really work out, as we see right here, and. Like, the thing is, self-destruct is such a bad ultimate, really. Like, yeah, it does a thousand damage, but it's so slow and telegraphed. If you can believe it, it used to take even longer to go off. God, it's terrible. And it used to kill D.Va. Um, like, you want to... Like, your team has to go in with you, or you have to combo it with somebody if you're going to do that kind of thing. Like, tack visor, like, sold, your soldier's using tack visor, so you throw your ult on the other side of them, and then they're like, oh fuck, which one do I deal with, right? Which one do I look at? If you just chuck it in, they're like, oh, I'll just get out of the way then. If nobody goes in with it, and you don't have anything to combo it with, it just doesn't really work out. I'm not a big fan of just, like, lobbing it in there like that, because it tends to not do very much. So, Reinhardt has somehow managed to kill two people. We've also managed to kill one of their supports, which is great news. So, Bastion's over there. That's kind of spooky. We should be, like, trying to deal with that as best as we can, but unfortunately, Diva's not very good at dealing with Bastion. So, yeah, we kind of need help to deal with that. We've got um, Whole Hog happening over there, which we are not blocking, which we should have been blocking. We're more concerned with the Bastion, which, I mean, is fair enough, but if there's an ultimate happening, that takes precedent over everything else, basically, as long as you can block it. Now we're coming over here to try and fight the Bastion. Honestly, this Bastion should not have gotten up. If he just sits in turret form and shoots at you, he kills you. Like, you shouldn't come over here and do this, because this doesn't work, like, ten times out of ten. The Bastion has to, like, let you kill him in this kind of situation. He'll kill you nine times out of ten. And because we're over here focusing on the Bastion... We didn't block the whole hog that happened, and we haven't blocked the tack visor that was happening either. And like, yeah, I get it, Bastion's really threatening and all that, but ultimates kind of take precedent over everything else, really, you know? Them generally being what wins you the game in Overwatch. Um, so, we lost the round right there, we got rezzed right as the um, round ended, which is of course sad. As we can see, we're going to be sad Yet again, and now we're looking at career profiles. Boo. Um, I don't like when people do that. It, like, doesn't gain you anything. Uh, I find more often than not, it tends to just tilt all parties involved. Okay, so now we're defending. We have the same team still, so boy, are we going to be sad if they pick Farah, which they are probably going to, given they had someone playing Farah before. Um, we're still good at dealing with Farah as D.Va. Here comes, um, Winston, so it's kind of good that we've got a Reaper, I guess, but, like, you know. So, uh, Genji just dashed right through us, and now he's doing that. That's really bad. Genji, don't know, Genji deserved to die for that, but we don't have anything that can really punish him quickly for doing it, because he did just dash through us, and then flip back out, and this is just where you're sad that, like, your DPS are Junkrat and Reaper, because he should not be allowed to get away with that. But we don't have anything that can punish him quickly, like a flashbang or a hook or anything like that, so we're very sad about it. Because that's that was not a legal maneuver that a Genji just tried to pull off right there. 
So we've got Winston coming around over here. Don't know what we were doing right there. I think we thought he was going to jump up and then we were going to follow him through, but we ended up just kind of like sitting on his head and it was super awkward. So Diva's over here right now. We're really not like doing much have presence in this fight because we're kind of just sitting really far back, kind of not really doing anything for a while. To be fair, our team is not really standing where we want them to be standing. It's really hard to stand up in the gate on King's Row. We do usually want to stand back more back, like more back here. But our team isn't standing here with us. And if your team is standing out of position, well, you kind of have to go and stand with them because even if it's not where you want to be, it's more important that you're just up there with them. We sit back here just sort of like shooting into the choke point from really far away and we're like not really doing anything this entire time. We're not really putting our presence down over here where the fight's happening. Uh, we just saw Winston come over the gate. We're one of the better people at dealing with Winston. We should be like going after him because he's diving onto our back line right now. We just saw him jump over the wall into the back line and we aren't doing anything about it. We just sit over here shooting over there and then he like comes over to us. But by the time we even realize that it's happening, he's already killed Junkrat. As soon as we seen him come over the wall, we should have just gone over there to start helping out with that situation because we're one of the better people on our team at killing Winston. Um, so now the Diva's coming in through over here. We're trying to finish her off. But it's kind of hard for us to do because, you know, defense matrix and then going through the bubble. Uh, we can't really do anything about Genji. That's kind of outside of our area. Um, again, we're just like sitting really far back, shooting these people from super far away. We could just be jumping on that Zenyatta. Because I don't know if you've noticed, the Senyata's been alone in the back line like the entire time right now. Like he's got people kind of near him, but like if you jump on this, you know, you jump on that Zenyata that's mostly by himself, you probably kill that Zenyata, honestly. Um, so there's uh, Genji right there. Genji's still hard for us to deal with. We're falling back because we're low HP. Genji's coming in with his ultimate right there. We didn't punch him in time. We managed to just shoot him because he had one hit point while that was happening. But they managed to come in, just like finish us all off. We really just like didn't have any presence at any point during that. We were just sitting really far back like the entire time. The only time we actually fought Winston or Diva were when they came to us. Like we are like, we're a beefy tank. We got to be out there having presence. We got to be up with the front line helping them. We got to be diving on the back line. That's really hard to do on defense. So you like, kind of like have to get a super opportunity to do that. We want to be up with our front line, having presence with them, making life difficult for their team. And then like when somebody jumps on our back line, we're the one that's supposed to deal with that because we're the off tank. Like Reinhardt's got to stand over where like he's the main tank. We're the off tank because Reinhardt is just like the most main tank in the game. We're the one that's got to help when Winston comes over the gate onto the back line. We got to go help get that. Winston off of whoever he's diving on. We just had like no presence during that entire fight right there. Uh, that entire point, I should say, because it was kind of a couple of fights. So Diva also just kind of throwing her um, bomb in right now, doesn't get anything done. Reaper's back there flanking. He's managed to pick off their uh, soldier, so that's good. Uh, we kind of give up on the the Zenyatta right there. We could go a little harder on the Zenyatta because look at what's around him. The only people he's got here to support him right now are Diva and Winston. Neither of these people are very scary to us. Our entire team's with us, including Reaper. We could go harder for this guy. We're also about to have our ult if we really... If, like, something disastrous happens, which seems like it would be really hard, we can just ult because we built it up during the fight. We could have gone harder on that Zenyatta right there because he was out of position and he didn't have that much to help him get out of it. So we've built up our ultimate right now. Winston trying to kill himself right there does successfully get finished off before he can escape. We've built self-destruct up, so that's nice, but it's not kind of the kind of thing we're really thinking about. That's really fucking sad for Genji right there. Let's go back and watch that one again in slow motion. I'm going to make the big plays. Oh, no. And we don't even know where his body went. He was just kind of there. And then on the next frame, he was gone. Mm, how tragic for him. So, Reinhardt's just ulted. We're throwing our ulted combo it with him. We killed a bunch of people. Great, awesome. That's a textbook alt combo right there. All good. Um, we've seen somebody over here. We kind of mess up floating through the staircase. But, like, we're probably not going to kill him regardless, really. Because it's D.Va and she just kind of gets away from us. 
that's happening right there. That's kind of spooky. Um, yeah, so we comboed our ultimates really well. Textbook, awesome. Uh, we've managed to get some momentum off of that. Well, we haven't gotten momentum. We've killed some of their momentum is a better way to put it, seeing as we're the defending team. So someone just left the game. Um, I do believe they come back uh, before too long. I mean, I know how this game goes, so I feel like they must. Otherwise, it's really sad. So here's Genji. Genji's still kind of hard for us to deal with. Someone's behind us right now, and it's Winston. We, like, didn't notice it was happening, and we've been getting, like, Taze behind, and Mercy's been, like, getting killed by him. You gotta, like, look around more. Like, you don't have to fixate on the front line, which we have kind of been doing. Like, their team is kind of, like, wily, right? Because they've got, like, Genji and Winston. They can come at you from a bunch of angles. You gotta kind of, like, look around to see if they might be doing that. Just in general, like, look around. You don't have to look at the front line the entire time. Just, like, spin around, see what's going on, see what's up with your team, see if anybody's coming, you know, that kind of thing. Look around more. Because this soldier is also behind us, and he's used Tac Visor. Um, he probably went off around this way, but, like, you know, we just kind of, like, didn't know any of it was coming. We are currently separating ourselves from our team right now. This is really bad. Um, don't do what we're doing right now, because what we're doing right now is uh, leading... Basically, we're spending a lot of time here doing nothing, and we're probably still going to die regardless. Uh, you know, which is exactly what happens. Don't, like, sit over there trying to do that. Like, either try and get back to your tail. I just come out the back and try to, like, float over this way or something. Or if you don't think you can do that, go die quicker. Because it's more important that you just get back to your team quicker. If you know that you're gonna die, or it's, like, extremely likely that you're gonna die... Just die faster. If you can't get back to your team and you're most likely going to die, just die faster. Because it's more important that you get back to your team quickly. If there's an edge, throw yourself off of that edge so that you don't even give the enemy team ult charge. Because all we did was prolong our death for like an extra like 10 seconds or so. And now so that's just 10 extra seconds that our team is not going to have us there. And that's that mercy. Mm, 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 that's... Mm, mm. It's really sad. It's really sad. So yeah, um, if you know you're gonna die, or think it's extremely likely that you're gonna die, just like die faster. Basically, don't like prolong it. Don't prolong a death that is definitely coming for you, because then just like it just ends up even worse. Honestly. Um, so I guess they don't come back, at least not for a while. Um, we lose this game. Uh, so that's very sad. So, we've got Winston up here with us right now. We're not concerned about that. We're better at fighting Winston than he is at fighting us. We almost fell off the edge right there, so that's kind of spooky. There's a Genji in our backline with Dragon Blade right now, so like we sh it's not really our area, but as soon as we know that's happening, we should just come back immediately to try and deal with it, because Dragon Blade is a pretty scary ultimate. So, and it kind of, like, requires everybody's attention. So we just saw Reaper get absolutely just executed by this police officer. We are now bullying around the Farah, which is good. Um, we kind of, like, mess up the tracking a little bit, but she ends up killing herself on us anyway, so that's fine. You know, it all works out in the end. It doesn't matter how you get to the finish line as long as you get to the finish line. So their teammate is back now. Okay, so it's going to be slightly less sad when we lose. So there goes Genji. Um, Genji's still really hard for us to deal with as uh, D.Va. That guy over there getting fucked. We should just like float over there and try to finish, help finish that off. Like get in there, start doing damage because like, okay, that's happening. He's not going to kill him with the charge. Shift over this fool and start just like drilling into their forehead to make sure that they die. We are again just like sitting back really far, kind of uh, you know, not doing too much. And, you know, just like, you know, low presence, basically. I don't feel like we've had a very big presence in this game, despite playing D.Va, who has a pretty big presence overall. Um, so we've now been sitting up on the high ground, kind of not doing too terribly much. Far has been just, like, going around killing people, which is obviously not great. God, excuse me, I'm disgusting. We have got self-destruct built up. Farah's up there right now. We should just, like, go up and try and get that Farah. Honestly, you know. 
Uh, instead, we've gone in on this diva, and now it's important to have hope, right? But I would just alt over there, honestly. Like, even though it's probably not going to hit anybody, I mean, almost certainly won't hit anybody unless they lack all self-preservation instincts. It's more important that you have your mech right now. Like, your mech, being D.Va in her mech is more important than self-destruct right now, because now you have no presence, you get killed immediately, and the fight's already going badly. You can't also afford to die right now just because you want to save self-destruct, because it's just more important that you're over there for that thing happening, really. Fortunately, Reaper is an absolute hero and manages to wipe out their team so that we don't actually, like, lose the game right there. But, like, that's the kind of situation where just you want your mech back because that's more important. It's more important that you're actually still a hero in the game than you saving your pretty bad ultimate. Um, so we've managed to kill some of their momentum again. Here's Farah right now being inconvenient. Genji's just been nano bladed, bam boosted, so that's a really bad sign. As soon as you see Genji get nano boosted, that's probably just where you use self destruct. Really, like I wouldn't have it right now, but we do have it. This guy's about to go in. Just alt right now, so that you can at least delay him coming in and waste time on the dragon blade and the nano boost, because he's coming in. He does indeed come in, and he kills both of our supports. The usual best use for self destruct is zoning, the same as dead eye. As soon as you see that happen to that Genji, you just go, okay, and alt. And then he's like, fuck, well now what do I do? And he may maybe he still comes in, maybe he dies, maybe he just sits back and wastes like half the duration on both of the ultimates. Either way, we hold it, both of their, uh, both our supports just get killed. Which is obvious, which is obviously quite bad. So, we're coming back around now. We're managing to get back out to touch it. Oh, just barely. Um, you know what's gonna happen. We all, we all, oh, spooky. Oh, we all know what's gonna happen. And we lose the game. And it feels bad, man. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, uh, just see what the play of the game is. That might be too far. No, no, it wasn't too far. What's the play of the game? What we got? Um, Reaper? No? Mm-hmm. This does make sense. She almost died as well. Didn't use an emote or a spray. Oh, very poor. F minus, please see me after class. Alright, so we don't want to leave it on the black screen. Uh, there we go. I'm always a little sad when Zenyatta gets this medal, because it always seems just, like, such a gimme. Like, the game couldn't really find, like, a fourth actual card to put up, because that one is just, like, so easy to get. Um, so. The the things that stand out to me the most in this game are just, like, the... Just, we don't, we don't really have very much presence this entire game. We spend a lot of time, like, sitting really far back, not really actively trying to do anything. Most of the time when we fight people, it's just because they come to us more than us, like, going to them and trying to kill people. Like, you gotta be trying to do stuff, like, you, the big first round attack, we could have been, like, going around trying to, like, distract from their front, trying to distract their back line, seeing as they're, like, killing us as we're trying to get through the choke point. When we're defending at the first point, we don't, like, go up to fight anybody. We sit really far back, shooting from, like, outside of our range. We don't, like, go and help people unless they just kind of, like, end up fighting on top of us. Like, we just got really low presence in this game overall. I feel like we had very little impact outside of, like, the, like, one ultimate that, like, actually, like, helped us get the first checkpoint. Outside of that, I feel like our presence was really low this entire game. Um, like, go, go, like, fight people. Go, like, be on the front line. Be more actively trying to, like, fight people. If people go on your back line, go and help them. If you see the Farah, be looking for the Farah, because the far like, you've got to stop the Farah from doing some of the stuff the Farah was doing this game. You were, like, you were the best person to fight Farah on your team this entire game. So, like, you have to, like, be proactively looking for her and trying to stop her from doing the things that she was doing. You have to have more presence in these games. Go fight people. Go help your front line. Go help your back line. Go fight people. Don't just sit really far back, like, shooting at people. 
like the biggest the, the clearest example is like when that lucio got caught up in the tree on the attack and we just sat like really far back like shooting at him and like get him get the lucio over the voice comms like go get the lucio like go get the lucio don't just sit there shooting from really far away go get him you know and the other thing is like don't just keep throwing you like just don't keep doing the naked diva ultimates because they're usually pretty bad like the first the one right at the start of the game was actually good because we wanted to go in right there that was the time for us to go in and we comboed it with our team actually going in so it like distracted them enough that it all worked out that's actually like a good use of it every use after that i wasn't a fan of because we kind of just like lob it in like whatever just like i'm gonna lob it in right now like it's it's not that's a generally a pretty bad use of your ultimate it's best used generally either to combo it with somebody like we did with the reinhardt um, so there were two good Diva ultimates in this game. The first one and then the one we combo with the Reinhardt, which is like, you know, textbook alt combo. Um, but like, it's usually used for zoning. Like when the Genji, you see the Genji get nano boosted, like pull out the blade, just alt. You don't want the Genji to keep coming. You want to stop the Genji from coming in, so you zone him with self-destruct. That's usually the better use than just lobbing it in like that. Um, so those were the things that stood out to me the most in this game anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, I'm more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful.